Hey guys, before we get into the video, I'm giving away a free Enchanted Shadow Katana. It has Curse of the No Life King on it, and I'm sure you guys could use it way more than me. All you have to do to enter is like the video, comment, subscribe, and join the Discord server in the description below. Just a quick reminder, I will be checking if you have completed all the steps before announcing the winner. If you don't have all the steps completed, I will choose a new person. Alright, enjoy the video. Number 10. Legendary and rare cards are obtained through powering up, and when you choose your cards, you have a chance to roll one. There's a luck system put together so you have a higher chance to roll these cards. However, every time you choose a rare or legendary card, your luck goes down. There are a lot of unknown legendary and rare cards, but they are probably something every build has. Number 9. Deep Gems. I'm pretty sure most of the player base knows what these are. They're simply gems that you can find from certain bosses and in the depths to modify your mantra giving it an effect. Every gem has its own special ability and after the Primadon nerf, they seem to be quite rarer than before. Number 8 Legendary Mantras They are usually 3 star cards and 2 star cards. These mantras are more rare than the average mantra, making them slightly better than normal cards. Not all mantras are combat based, as you can see here. This one is used for mobility mainly. Most of these cards aren't overly busted and will not turn the tables in a fight. You just simply need to be the better player. Number 7 Enchants. Enchants are a great addition to the game. They give a reason for you to do something in the game at power 60. They give rare effects and special ability to regular items and weapons. Most item enchants are balanced, but I cannot say the same for all weapon enchants. Number 6 The Red Sharko vs Sharko event. This event is very rare setting where you can see two Sharkos, one irregular and one normal Sharko fighting. This red charcoal has the ability to send flying swords slash spears from the sky. The chance of them hitting you is like 0.2% and if you actually get hit, it's just a skill issue. This event is very rare and only spawns on Songseeker Island. Number 5 Mythical items and mythical armor. There has only been a few sightings for these to exist. For example, this cloak named Unsung. It seems to be a no sap black design of the armor you often see around, the Royal Pathfinder. The item is also purple when the man picked it up, so who knows what this could mean. Number 4 The Depths Ignition Event. This event is most likely the rarest event in Deep Oaken as of now. This is a simple NPC event where it shows the Ignition members try to attack a diver, but then they proceed to get obliterated by him. There seems to be two options when talking to him. One is a regular option where you can ask to join the divers, and then there is the Charisma option, which makes him do something mysterious. Number 3 Unobtainable and OG build. These builds are unobtainable because the game constantly changing by the death, making it impossible to get certain builds like ones before. For example, this is one of my older builds with neuroplasticity and return to the dark ages. A while back, they made it that you cannot get both on the same build. In this clip, you can see that YPC Nate has a Heroism Enchanted Hero Sword, and long ago they removed that you can get enchants on Hero Swords. Number 2 Primal Vesperian is one of the rarest things in the game because of the spec exclusive to only one person and devs only. This special person's name is Newtons, and he won an arc on this a while back in the first place. As a reward, they gave him a cosmetic spec, which is now only obtainable through devs. Number 1 Lightborn This race is a dev only race right now. I believe less than 3 people have this race, maybe less. Seeing this race means you have encountered a dev or someone high up, and there are no current ways to obtain it. Devs have mentioned it that they might make it obtainable, but not through the rerolling system. But your chances of getting it right now is near zero. 
last but not least, we have number zero. Touching grass and getting some good shoes. The hardest thing for a debugging player right now is to finally go outside and touch some grass. Finally focus on some getting some bitches. Like come on man, you really got no game, you gotta step this up bro, let this default and stuff go. You need to try harder, you are this far in your life, but still, with no bitches, I'm real ashamed of you. This is the hardest thing for any deep woken player to do, I have kept this at zero because none have been able to achieve this goal yet. And we're at Pumpkin Hill. You ready? I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep down in Pumpkin Hill. I got some.